Everything I do, including this, is a family affair. I am here because my parents, Manuel and Maria Teresa, who had only their hope and health when they settled in Sacramento, taught me to earn the American dream. A construction worker with a sixth grade education and a clerical worker who arrived in her teens from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, they never saw the inside of a college classroom, but they sent all their kids to one or to the military. We lost my dad last year on New Year's Day. When the end came, my dad knew we were there with him, at his side, in our home. Sadly, hundreds of thousands of Americans haven't had that closure this past year. That, Senators, is why I'm here today. The COVID pandemic has killed 500,000 Americans, many of them alone without their families. Millions more have lost their jobs and health care. That is not the America my parents would believe possible. To meet this moment, we need strong federal leadership. That's what President Biden is demonstrating, and I'm, I'm fortunate to be confirmed. I look forward to joining the president in this critical mission. I understand the enormous challenges before us and our solemn responsibility to faithfully steward this agency that touches almost every aspect of our lives. I'm humbled by the task and I'm ready for it. The mission of HHS to enhance the health and well-being of all Americans is core to who I am. When I was a child, my mom had a health scare. She was rushed to the hospital after hemorrhaging at home. The image is seared in my memory. We were lucky. My mom is now 87 years young. Better put, we were blessed. My dad, the laborer, had insurance through his union, Labor's Local 185. We didn't have much, but we didn't have to face the threat of unpaid medical bills or even bankruptcy. Over two decades in Congress, I worked to ensure every family had the assurance of care that mine had. I helped expand the Children's Health Insurance Program. I helped write and pass the Affordable Care Act. From the Ways and Means Committee, I fought to strengthen and modernize Medicare and how we finance it. As Attorney General, I created a Health Care Rights and Access Unit. We cracked down on Medicare and Medicaid fraud. I've worked to hold opioid manufacturers accountable for the addiction crisis. I've taken on hospital and drug makers who unfairly jack up prices on patients. I have protected patients' privacy. If confirmed, I'll work with you to continue this type of work and to address HHS's biggest challenges. And that, of course, starts with COVID. The President has ambitious goals, 100 million vaccine shots in arms in his first 100 days, increasing access to testing, sequencing the virus so we're prepared for the variants, reopening schools and businesses. HHS has a central role in meeting all of these goals safely and equitably. As Attorney General, I saw the importance of this on the front lines. I worked with my colleagues in other states, both Republicans and Democrats, to make COVID treatments more readily available. I am ready to work with you, with our state and local partners, and across government to get this right. Next, we must ensure people have access to quality, affordable health care. If confirmed, I will work with you to strengthen our Medicare and Medicaid lifelines to reduce the cost of health care and prescription drugs and ensure we are accountable, spending resources wisely and effectively. And I won't forget the other H in HHS, human services. I want to work with you supporting our vulnerable children, those in foster care, strengthening health Head Start and expanding access to child care. Finally, we must restore faith in our public health institutions. That starts with putting science and the facts first and showing respect for our career workforce. No one understands your state and your communities better than you. We may not always agree, but if I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed, I will always listen to you. I will keep an open mind. I will look for common cause, and I will work with you to improve the health and dignity of the American people. I want to thank you for this opportunity to share my vision. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. 
Thanks for watching.